since Pep Guardiola's arrival in England, and especially this season, Manchester City have developed a reputation for fast starts. The reigning champions are renowned for blowing teams away inside the first 30 minutes of matches, with opposing sides playing with fear until safety beyond the opening moments is achieved. Interestingly, though, Bernardo Silva's early goal against Fulham on Saturday, pictured below, was the first that the team have scored before the 30th minute since facing Shaki away in the Champions League way back in February. City scored in the 18th minute in Germany but appear to have tailed off since in terms of bursting out of the blocks. In the 18 matches before Shaki, City scored inside the first half hour a whopping 15 times, indicating that it effectively became a constant occurrence. In the six matches following the trip to Julesenkirchen, though, City failed to gain an early lead before the 30th minute even once. Is this concerning, or is it simply nothing to worry about? Let's take a look based on the team's underlying performance. Expected goals, XG, is becoming increasingly prominent due to its ability to tell a story beneath the actual result. XG works by attaining a value to every shot that is taken during a match, rather than simply those that hit the back of the net. Then, once the match has ended, each side has an XG value based on the shots that they took. At Craven Cottage, for example, City's XG was 2.42 and Fulham's was 0.36. The match ended with the scores vaguely as expected at 2-0. In order to determine whether Guardiola's side have actually dipped in the first period of matches since Shaki, their XG has been calculated based on the first 30 minutes in isolation rather than using full matches. The results are interesting, as in their most recent seven fixtures in all competitions, City's XG average for the first 30 minutes is zero. Eighty. That figure is considerably high, and many teams at the bottom end of the Premier League table don't post that amount even after playing 90 minutes. Despite posting the XG average of 0.80, though, City have scored at a rate of zero. Fourteen which is a high level of underperformance and effectively suggests bad luck or poor finishing, as chances such as the one below were missed. Then, in comparison to the seven matches beforehand, City's XG was 0.52, which is good but surprisingly lower. This means that the chances that City have created in the first 30 matches of their most recent seven matches have been greater than the previous seven, despite the lack of goals scored. Crucially, despite the lower XG of 0.52, City managed to score at a rate of 1.14, which is basically double what was expected and is a significant overperformance with chances such as the one pictured below being finished. Overall, although City have scored fewer early goals recently, 
the chances they've been creating have been better than before. The decisive factor has been the finishing, as in the most recent seven matches, City's finishing has been substandard, whereas in the seven earlier, it was elite.